it's been a while since we talked. Like, I mean, <laughs> really talked. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Isaac. I'm 21. I'm from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. And I'm scared to get older. Or at least sometimes. <laughs> Maybe a lot of times. Uh, let me just explain how I think about life. And I know this is going deep really quick, but look, we ain't got much time. So, literally and figuratively. Um... I think of, I think of life in this way, right? You're, you know, you're a kid and then you're a teenager and then you're an adult, right? And along the way, you're trying to figure out what is your thing, right? Your, your purpose, finding meaning in your life. What are the things that you enjoy? What are the things that you're striving towards your goals, your aspirations, um, finding success in some way. And so along the way, you know, finding meaning through maybe a spouse or marriage or, and kids and all that kind of thing. And so, you're in this stage of, of, you know, especially in teens, young adults, you feel like you're in the in-between, right? And, you know, in, <laughs> in high school, in when you're a kid, nothing's really too much expected of you, right? Like, it's not a big deal that you don't know what you're doing with your life. You, you, you feel like you're lost. Of course, you feel like you're lost. You're, if you know what you're doing, then you're the outlier. But as you get older, you know, especially young adulthood, um... And you feel like, <sighs> you feel like you haven't gotten to where you want to be and you're scared you'll never get there. You're scared that you'll wake up one day and you'll be 30 and you've never accomplished anything. Or you'll be 40 and you've never accomplished anything. And you've wasted the years you have. What people talk about... You know what's insane to me? I hate when people do this. I hate it. When people say, oh man, you know, enjoy your, you know, enjoy your 20s. Uh, those are the best years you'll ever have. Or like, those are the best years of your life. Or, you know, like things like that, because that makes me feel like, well, I'm not happy. I'm struggling. And you're telling me this is the mo this is the best it's going to get? That's the, that's all you could say? That blows my mind. So I can't believe that. And I can't believe that I can't believe that the summit that there is a summit, right? We we think at least in my mind, I think I've always wanted to get to a place or a certain specific goal where certain things measure up and they line up and for at least one moment of time where I have, you know, I'm financially set and I'm relationally set and I am, you know, emotionally set and, and all these things align and then I've made it. I've won. I've done it. I've accomplished what I wanted to do and I can be at peace. But that doesn't exist. I, I have to believe it doesn't exist. Every, everything I watch, every person I talk to that, that, has, that has accomplished what they wanted to accomplish, they're still hungrier. They're still looking for approval. They're still looking for love. They're still looking for meaning. They're still looking for purpose. So cornering myself off into believing that like there needs to be, I need to get to a certain place at a certain time and accomplish a certain thing in order for me to be happy or be fulfilled or be, be accomplished. I think it's a sham. I think it's a complete lie. Along the way, my journey over the last two years, at least with this ministry, I, I set numerous goals of like stats and, 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 and all, you know, amount of followers or subscribers and, and goals and aspirations I wanted to get to. And each time I would pass one of those milestones, I would look back and think back and, and remember myself before saying, if I could only get here, then I would be satisfied. Then I would be happy. Then I would be fulfilled. But I got to that place and then all of a sudden that didn't look too hot. Actually, that honestly, the fact that I got there was a failure in itself because I should have got there sooner. And that, that applies to a lot of aspects of my life. I, I think of, oh, when I get to this spot, then I'll be fulfilled. And then I get there and then I, then I <laughs> take it as a negative because it took me a lot, too long to get there because I should be further along than I am. And so you, you, you torture yourself because you have these expectations that are, you have expectations, but on top of those expectations is your, is your really life motivation. It's, it's connected to that. 
So if your expectations aren't met, then your life motivation is just shriveled up. Your meaning, your sense of purpose, your sense of peace is all connected to that. Every day, every day that I don't feel like I've, I've made a dent, like into something more, something meaningful, something that, something that has legacy to it. Every day that I haven't done that, I feel, I feel angry. I feel frustrated. I feel discouraged. <sighs> and so I feel like in some ways, every day I wake up with that motivation to, to do it, to, to make it, to, to, to tap into that more that, that God would have for me. But, but along the, along the way, things pop up like my own desire to find love and, 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 and acceptance from other people and to find, um, find identity, right? As long as I find my identity in, in, in my productivity, I'll never find peace, right? Because I'll never be productive enough to give myself license to let go because it will never be enough. It will never be enough. And I think God designed it that way. He designed it that, 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 that we can do, we can wake up early. We can, you know, grind and we can rise and grind or whatever the, whatever the heck we can do all that. We can strive, we can even make an impact, but at the end of the day, if, if our identity is disconnected from the one who, who created us, we will always be disconnected from who we truly are in Christ. And so as long as I find my identity in, in being that kind of person that makes an impact or I find that identity in, in, in being somebody that is is successful or, or somebody that is productive or somebody that is smart or, or, or liked or loved. As long as I find my identity in that, I will always be disconnected from who I truly am. And I will never find the peace that passes all understanding. And so what I'm trying to do, and I know this is just a weird big therapy session, I guess, um, but you need one of those every once in a while. What I'm trying to do what I'm trying to do is tap into my identity in Christ, step into that, letting go of the, the, the pressure to perform in order to gain God's love. But rather, as I step into my identity, I want my productivity and my faithfulness to God's work, the work that he's given me. To be an outflowing of his love. And I know I've talked about this before. And at certain points in my life, I felt like that was the moment. That's the one. I, I like I've made it. I, I get it now. I can do it. Yeah. But then I just well, I'd go back to where I was before. Same mentality, same mindset, same anxieties and discouragements, all fueled by this concept that that <laughs> that I'm not where I'm supposed to be, and that feeds into you know, every year I feel like I'm running out of time. And, and look, I don't want to live this way. I don't think anybody wants to live this way. I love that God, I'm thankful that God has given me a desire for more, for more of, more of him and what he would have for me and, you know, and all that. But I'm also, I need to be aware, and, and, I'm, and for those of you who are like this, you need to be aware that you need to fight off the, the things that will, that will steal, steal your joy and things that will, will take this, this identity in Christ and, and you'll, they'll pull it, pull it to things that, that shouldn't be like identity in, in, in money, how much you're making or your status 
or how much you're working or, you know, uh, how, how, how busy you are. All these things are going to distract you from the point of all this. I could wake up every day and work my butt off for God. But where, where is my relationship with God? Where is my identity in God? Because it seems like, it seems like sometimes we're the people that, Tony Miano gave this example once, we're the people that, or the, 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 the young man that goes to the, the door uh, of, of somebody and knocks on the door and, and a, a, you know, older guy answers it. And, and the, the young man asks, if I mow your lawn, can I be your son? And that sounds crazy. Uh, guy's like, no, you can't be my son if you just mow my lawn. That doesn't make any sense. But if that, you know, that older guy first adopts that young man as his son, then the outflowing of that will be, could be, mowing his father's lawn. And so we're getting this out of order here. We're looking for more. We're looking for purpose. We're looking for identity. We're looking for love. We're looking for these core, like existential, um, fundamental aspects to our human nature. And yet we abandon the one thing that is free, the, the, a love, acceptance, a peace so glorious as is available to us can only be a gift. We can never earn it. But it's not good enough for us. We, we, we want to earn it. We want to work for it. We want to find it in other things. But it always leaves us empty. It always leaves us discouraged. It always leaves us asking, is this all there is? When you've got to the peak of where you wanted to go, when you've accomplished the things you wanted to accomplish, will it be enough for you? If you're scared of getting older, my question for you would be, where, where is your foundation? It is, is it in God's sovereignty? over your life or is it in your own self-reliance on doing enough, earning enough, succeeding enough, achieving enough to gain God's love, to gain other people's love, to gain meaning, to gain purpose. Where is your foundation? That's pretty much all I have to say. I know this is kind of a weird video. If you sat through the whole thing, thanks. I love you guys. I really do. And I really am thankful for a platform that I can just get on and talk. I mean, yeah, we're all working. We're all trying to figure this out. You know, it takes, it takes time, it takes a lifetime. And the more honest and open we can be about what we're going through, about what we're feeling, especially with the people around us, that can only be beneficial. It can only be beneficial. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. God bless.